Okay, we are looking here at the practical living mathematics of humanity. Let's draw on a piece of paper, get a piece of paper, put off this video, get a piece of paper, and then let's work together on this. Now you've got a piece of paper. You put two little stick men on the piece of paper. One stick man and another one stick man. Okay? Now have a look. Put your name on top of the one stick man and you put over the head of the other stick man, you put my mate. Whether it's male or female is irrelevant. Now you have you and your mate, which is the principle of an agreement. One stick man plus another stick man gives you two stick men with names. It's really complicated. Now, how does human beings live? You have one stick man, which is you, and then you have another stick man, which is your mate, and then you think things up, what you believe, points that you agree with, you talk about it, and you create a bubble about your life with your mate. And that bubble is the things you agree upon and the things you disagree upon. And it sits as a bubble like a third person between you and your mate there. And that creates the oneness of your relationship. Because it's one and one that creates one point where you all agree. And what you're agreeing and disagreeing is, is your consciousness. Now you've shared your consciousness into a bubble called relationship. And now you say, I am in a relationship with my mate and I love my mate. Now let's look at the simplicity of this story. I love my mate means that in this stick person, which is you, there is a feeling. But you say that about the other stick person, which is your mate. Where does this love come from? From your mate or from you? From your mate or from you? From you. From you. Is it possible to get love from your mate? Did you ever see two people look at each other and then transfer love to each other? <laughs> but I mean, you believe it actually happens, you actually receive love from somebody? Have you ever seen it? Come on, please, psychopaths, show me. Humans are psychopaths. You've never seen it. Have you ever seen any energy transfer between two people? Have a look. When you take and you touch somebody, according to your hand, if your hand is hot, the person experiences warmth. If your hand is cold, the person experiences cold. That is transferred, isn't it? That's physically real. Everything else is make-believe, not real, have a look. The human being is a fucking psychopath. You believe that you actually feel something about another person? Not true. You are making it up about the person. The people you don't like. You say, oh, I don't like that. Look what that person is doing again. Do you know what? It is you playing it in your own mind. It's your own make-believe bullshit. You are deceiving. There's nothing really happening. You're making it all up. Up. Psychopathic. And you don't really actually feel anything about anyone. You don't really care about anything. But what happens in your make-believe world? And have a look. The whole world is only about this. Where everyone is trying for a position of power to have the power to make people believe stuff. That's how you buy stuff, isn't it? You watch an advert, advert and have a look, adverts are really simplistic. The advert makes you believe something about the product, and you go and buy the product, and now you make yourself believe it about the product, and here you are. You like what you bought. And look at the simplistic symbolism that's used in advertising that gets you so far as to like what you're doing. Are the human being an advanced thing? Not really, it's a really simplistic, fucking stupid thing. 
moving around in a make-believe world. In equality, it works as follows, which is fascinating because the word inequality and inequality is spelled exactly the same because, in fact, in reality, only equality exists. Everything that is not equal is existing in the make-believe world. And therefore, the make-believers need to make others believe what they believe so they can agree that they all believe the same make-believe. Which is all bullshit. And lies and deception and psychopathic behavior. If you don't like a person, or you judge a person according to who you believe they are, remember, you are believing they are that. You have not, in fact, gone through the, state, the actuality of what happens in a person. And to dare to have that idea about a person is absolutely delusional. Because if you are here in breath, you are responsible for your inner space. Another person is responsible for their inner space. You share those inner space through an external living. Because you share who you are in the way that you live. And in doing that, you have equality. You have a quality of living. And through that you develop trust, respect. But if you dare to stand there and in your inner space have thoughts about a person while they are standing in your presence, you are deceptive. And it is unacceptable. That is why breath is the key. You breathe and you make sure that in every breath you never have any thought about another person. That in fact you move within the physical reality. That you find ways that solve the problems of the physical living reality. Not the make-believe one. Because in the make-believe one, everyone is brainwashed. Do you know any person that's not brainwashed? Have a look. According to this simple principle of two stick men, everyone is brainwashed. There is no one in this world you can trust because in their make-believe world, they have made themselves believe some fucking pretty scary shit. From gods to devils to demons, you name the fucking things. Sex. All kinds of stuff. People love me, people don't love me. Self-abuse, you name the fucking thing. Revenge, everything is in the fucking make-believe world. There is no respect in this world. There is nobody that really cares. Because if you really care, if you are not a psychopath, you realize that if a human being do not have food and shelter and basic support when they are born in this world, they have very little chance. If you cannot see that, you are a psychopath because you are unable to feel reality, in fact. And therefore, if you take part in the capitalist system, you are a psychopath. If you take part in the religious system, you are a psychopath. If you take part in the democratic freedom system of this world of free choice, you are a psychopath because you are using make-believe. Make-believe exists in the realm of free choice, which only can happen where you are making it believing something that isn't actually real.